challenge. The force which drives men and women, constructors, in the relentless pursuit of excellence. The challenge of transforming the conceptual dream of a great architect into something more than a building, more than a functional complex, into something which is more than a landmark. The people who succeed are a select breed, professionals, dedicated to creation of a triumph which reflects for future generations the expertise and innovation of today's builders. Challenge. After 34 years in the construction industry, that was the inspiration which drove Barclay Brothers to meet the standards of exactness, dedication, resourcefulness and skill, which brought the design of Queensland's performing arts complex to its brilliant fruition. construction of the performing arts complex began in September 1979, Barclay Brothers was well aware that this, Queensland's biggest state works building, would present difficulties which Australia's construction industry had rarely encountered. A splendid design concept awaited interpretation. Expectations of quality were high, and the client's demand that the building be the most functional in Australia meant long lead times and the inevitable delays involved in ordering, designing, and scheduling construction processes to cater for state-of-the-art theatre equipment, then still under development. Design was to be progressive, permitting an immediate start and continual refinement of the methods and sequences of construction. At contract bid stage, there were just 300 drawings. But as planning evolved, a further 8,000 were produced, a total 20 tonnes of documents. As the complexity of the project became steadily more apparent, Barclay Brothers was awarded an additional contract for fit-out, a further $7.5 million worth of work, which vastly expanded the scope of the company's obligations. It meant reprogramming and a revised contractual completion date, which after a further two years was to be correct to within six days. But keeping to the new rigorous schedule presented the first major challenge. On most building projects, architectural and structural drawings are simple enough for the workforce to interpret. However, the advanced design of the performing arts complex demanded an intermediate interpretive stage. To communicate the vast complex body of information to the crew, a special task force was established to redraw highly detailed plans of each element of construction. It was an invaluable innovation, putting highly technical data into simple terms, resolving questions well before the beginning of each phase of construction. And it was just the beginning. The design team was seeking a unique structure, and innovation became the very foundation of Barclay Brothers' building program, reappraisal, Research and modification established new techniques which were highly cost-effective without compromising the nature of the design. Development of a suitable formwork system raised questions of quality of work and economical production of the building's off-white Class 1A sandblasted concrete finish. As far as architectural and design criteria would permit, the overriding object was to contain expenditure by designing the minimum quantity of forms needed to repeatedly produce the required high-quality finish. Barclay Brothers resolved to provide all formwork materials, as far-reaching innovations in that area were already under consideration, and the costs of research and development would be high. Formwork wall shutters, utilizing double soldiers to accommodate the extreme pressures resulting from 4.5 meter high concrete pours, were successfully designed, fabricated and tested with the assistance of Queensland University. A completely new concept was perfected using a fiberglass liner on plywood formwork. Suppliers of tie rod bars capable of withstanding the abnormal pressures of such high lift pores were sought and found overseas. A plastic formwork cone was researched and developed to seal against fiberglass formwork faces, avoiding mortar leakage and hydration stains. And existing systems of bending, projecting, reinforcing bars against the form face and turning them out at a later stage were perfected to avoid drilling large numbers of holes in the formwork surface. These sophisticated and functional elements of the formwork system developed by Barclay Brothers for the Queensland Performing Arts Complex are now being used by other contractors where a high quality concrete finish is required. A design which featured extensive spans and voids placed responsibility for stabilizing the structure during and after construction squarely on the contractor's shoulders. 
it was a heavy undertaking, requiring detailed planning to minimise periods during which structural elements required propping and the subsequent requirement for temporary supporting structures. Where specialist props were demanded, the task force mobilised and modified equipment already owned by Barclay Brothers, reducing costs and minimising delays. But due to the large number of small parts, each depending on the next for support, the load path from top to bottom was rarely direct. The main theatre walls themselves were not fully stable until the roof diaphragms were installed. Detailed planning was equally important in the fit-out of the theatres, where specified finishes could not be achieved without a vast structure of birdcage scaffolding threading through all the varied shapes, inclines, obstacles and finishes in the ceiling space. Surveying requirements were also demanding. Due to acoustic considerations, the complex geometry of the concert hall and lyric theatre cells were especially important. Exposed in situ walls in the concert hall had to be placed to tolerances of 5 millimetres. Although laser technology was used extensively, sizable 6.4 kilogram plumb bobs suspended by special tempered music wire, minimising the effects of air currents, were used where scaffolding interrupted the laser beam. Quite apart from technical innovation, a close working relationship with the design team enabled Barclay Brothers to make an even stronger mark on the Queensland Performing Arts Complex. Alternative design proposals were submitted and incorporated. Among the more notable, precast beams in lieu of in situ beams allowed the use of the new fiberglass form panels in the majority of foyer spaces, simplifying the casting of the concrete deck above by eliminating the need for a lower support system. Casting the facade mullions in precast concrete rather than in situ. The problem of transferring slender precast elements up to 15 metres in length from horizontal to vertical successfully was solved by fabrication of a special rolling table. Development and use of a precast, non-recoverable formwork system to cast the floors of the two main theatre stalls, which had subfloor access down to 300 millimetres in height. This formwork system incorporated slots for return air penetrations but could not be of timber or ply and could only bear on acoustic bearing pads placed on the support beams. The criteria were met by 75mm precast concrete formwork panel systems. The panels designed individually as each seating row was different. Steel outriggers cast into the sides provided the necessary support on the acoustic pads. And the extent of highly sophisticated equipment to be installed demanded skilled, progressive commissioning. For example, it was crucial to commission plant rooms which serviced the concert hall and practice rooms to control moisture in the 4,420 square metres of Johnson River hardwood before and after laying. It meant commissioning and supply of permanent power far earlier than the end usage date and then would generally be required in a major building project. The obvious quality of the completed finishes required exhaustive research and development applied individually to myriad elements. To obtain the specified concrete finish, for example, specified formwork, techniques of vibration, selection of equipment, concrete mixes, rates of pour, patching mixes and technique, and workforce supervision, all were essential, all were peculiar to this building, and all concrete on this project was poured by Barclay Brothers' own workforce. The finish itself was regarded as critical to success of the project as a whole, as a high percentage of the building's surfaces would be exposed. Clearly, a large part of the building's success also depended on internal fit-out of the two main theatres, and in many areas the task was daunting. The Lyric Theatre's decorative blade ceiling required square, hollow aluminium sections positioned on the diagonal plane, curved to varying radii and set on the rake. After experimentation to establish the tube's correct tensile strength and a period of trial rolling, a machine was specifically manufactured to produce the desired radii without undue distortions. A computer was used to calculate individual radii and the joint patterns. The result speaks for itself. The Lyric Theatre's balcony fronts were another immensely time-intensive project. So complex, they were unable to be translated in a drawing, crafted from hand-laid, three-dimensional plaster glass. The concert hall's decorative pod ceiling is quite possibly the largest plaster cast ceiling manufactured and installed in recent Australian history, consisting of various levels of drop pods suspended from a structural steel frame. Prototypes were manufactured to ensure that the most practical suspension and manufacturing techniques were utilised and that the results satisfied acoustic and architectural design requirements. 
The North Queensland walnut veneer panelling selected for installation in each theatre was manufactured under strict supervision to ensure the desired quality was achieved and maintained. Panelling in the Lyric Theatre was to be shaded in eight graduated colours and the colouring techniques were especially developed for Barclay Brothers. Johnston River Hardwoods for timber flooring was hand selected at the mill to obtain the correct colours of grain. Design called for a colour graduation from almost black at the concert hall stage to ginger at the rear of the stalls and a further time consuming process of selection was necessary when the timber arrived on site. The task of installation was yet more difficult. Each of the thousands of boards was secret nailed to a different radius. Acoustically, the Queensland Performing Arts Complex is among the most sophisticated buildings in the world and quality control was, by necessity, incredibly rigid. The walls and stall floors for the auditoria were isolated from their base support by thousands of acoustic pads designed and manufactured for Barclay Brothers to support specified loads applying at varied degrees. The pads had to be of a uniform thickness and have a specified resonant frequency with a given deflection under the applied load. The pads were produced only after extensive testing from neoprene rubber material and depending on the load, up to five implanted five millimeter stainless steel plates. Depending on the load, the concrete structure had to be recessed and the pads positioned down to a tolerance of two millimeters. The walls of the auditoria were isolated from outer walls by placement of rigid bat insulation and designed so that the structural steel roof members would retain the walls in their vertical position. Continuous quality control checks ensured that nowhere did concrete bridge the acoustic gap between the walls of the auditoria. During almost five years of construction, of hectic pace and intense dedication, the Barclay site remained highly motivated. Group safety policy was heavily enforced and cheerfully adhered to, and the Site Safety Committee achieved a remarkable record. Of 2,348,000 man-hours worked, there were only 185 lost time accidents, no permanent disabilities and no fatalities. A highly satisfactory lost time frequency rate of 78.8 for the entire job. Management, union officials and employees firmly adhered to a strict set of industrial relations procedures. And during the course of the contract, only 45 working days were lost due to industrial stoppages, approximately 50% of which were over federal or state issues and beyond site management control. Compared with similar projects and the 52 days lost as a result of inclement weather, it was a record to be proud of. The Barclay Brothers site team was drawn generally from existing staff, many of them former cadets and apprentices. And it's significant that of 32 members at the project's beginning, 28 were still aboard five years later to witness the completion, upholding a strong Barclay Brothers tradition. If you start a job, you finish it. Many Barclay Brothers staff who did start this project as apprentices and cadets have now achieved prominent and responsible positions in the company. A cooperative spirit which evolved between the building authority, its consultants and the Barclay Brothers workforce contributed heavily to the integration of more than 1,100 contract variations without adversely affecting the completion date. It was a magnificent team effort. In August 1984, the Performing Arts Complex, a monument to excellence in design, technical development and construction expertise, was complete. It houses a lyric theatre and concert hall, each seating 2,000 people, the smaller Cremorne Theatre seating 200, rooms for ballet rehearsal and orchestral practice, and extensive infrastructural facilities. The challenge had been met. And after five years, the true client, the people of Queensland, warmed to the triumph.